Traditional animation artists create the illusion of motion with the shape of a line. Smears and overall stretching of a character are techniques that create the illusion a character is traveling at a high rate of speed, or to emphasize movement. 3D animation artists use similar techniques, frequently stretching characters to extreme poses, contorting limbs, and creating physically impossible poses to enhance a character's performance. Gandhi Tartatovsky, director of Sony Pictures Animation's Hotel Transylvania, is well known for this exaggerated and unique style of character animation. His animation style clearly demonstrates that poses are pushed, and timing between these poses is quick and direct. Gandhi comes from a traditional animation background, so each pose represents something important, and retaining the hand-drawn sensibilities of a character is the key to creating an expressive animation with a unique style. One significant difference between traditional animation and 3D animation is the use of motion blur. Without motion blur, rapidly moving objects tend to look like they were filmed under a strobe light. Motion blur reduces this strobe effect and ultimately gives the viewer a more realistic depiction of how we perceive motion in the real world. Mixing extremely pushed poses and motion blur can often be problematic. In order to achieve the look that Gendy was expecting, our ImageWorks artists work to develop creative and technical methodologies that improve the look of a character's performance by mixing highly exaggerated poses with specifically calculated motion blur for important character moments. In this shot, Jonathan rides a magical broom around the interior of the hotel lobby. Look at the stretching of each pose as he does a few corkscrews around the room. Notice the use of two brooms to really sell the idea of him spinning quickly. The first lighting pass of the character showed less than optimal results. The character's spinning was causing a majority of the issues, so we had an animator create additional frames in between a few key poses. These additional poses smoothed out the motion blur on objects with quick movement from one frame to the next. The lighting artist also rendered certain frames of Jonathan with less motion blur, carefully splicing these frames into the final composite where Gendy wanted a clearer read of the character's action. With the use of additional keyframes between poses, frame-specific motion blur, and a lot of artistic blending, you'll begin to understand why our artist at Sony Imageworks coined this technique, Gendy Blur.